Here's one of the biggest ones, and, and when people say it, they say it with an attitude. I've, it's always been that way for me anyway when I've heard this, and it's this. Where was the Word of God before 1611? You know, smart aleck. You know, that, they say it so snidely, you know. Where was the Word of God before? Have you ever heard that? Somebody ask you that when you say the King James Bible is the Word of God. Oh, yeah, where was it before 1611? And the way I answer that is this. I don't care. Because this is 2021, and I want to know where the Word of God is right now. <laughs> now, that's the simple answer. But really, them not knowing where the Word of God is today is a much bigger problem than me being able to expound on where it was before 1611. <laughs> okay? They're trying to sidetrack the issue. See that? Um, I'll say this. The words of God were available to man in the Antiochian manuscripts before 1611 because God promised he'd preserve his words and there was pres preserved scripture before 1611. But by the way, in all honesty, that doesn't mean they were always available in one volume. Uh, you have to think about some things on this. People say, well, where was the word of God before 1611? Again, there were, there were preserved uh, manuscripts, there were things available, and there's a whole study to all of this. But when you want to say, you know, we take the position that with, in 1611 with the publication of the King James Bible, that is the final authority for English-speaking people. But you need to think about a few things on this. First of all, if you have a problem with that, you, then you need to think about this. There was no written scripture for about the first 2,500 years of human history. Or so. I mean, Job, I guess, was written before Moses wrote the first five books. But, I mean, for a long time, there was no written scripture. And then for the next 1,500 years, there was not a complete Bible available to man. Think about that. Okay? Where was the Word of God before Moses? <laughs> he wrote the first five books of the Bible. Oh, yes, Job was written earlier during the patriarchs. But, I mean, what kind of logic is that? Who are we to tell God how to do things? But here, here's something you think about. God waited 4,000 years to send the word of God, Jesus Christ, the incarnate word, into the world. Why did he wait 4,000 years? Why didn't he send him day one? Very good reasons for him. He's God. Who are we to tell God how to do things? Who are we to question how God does things? He sent the capital W word of God into the world when the fullness of the time was come. At just the right time, according to his plan and purpose. And I believe he sent the inspired word of God, the universal language of the world, the English language, when the fullness of the time was come, at just the right time, after the invention of the printing press. When people started becoming more literate, and English rose to be the most understood language in the world, at just the right time. And so... There were some good English translations. We already talked about this. There were some good English translations leading up to the King James, but they weren't perfect like this one is. It's, been, it's done. It's settled. We have the Word of God in the English language. And so don't let people sidetrack you about where was it before 1611. Let God handle that. He, he took care of all that. I want to know is where is it right now. I did, I didn't, I'm not living in 1609. I'm living in 2021 you got to turn the tables on people. When they try that, you make them tell you where the Word of God is right now. That's the much more important question.